I'm out in the morning mountains today training for a 35 kilometer mountain race and I figured that's the perfect time to talk about my new favorite mountain running shoes. These, the Hooker Speedgoat 4s. In a few weeks, I'm going to be running the Morn Skyline Race, which is a 35 kilometer, 20 mile mountain race here in the Morn Mountains in Northern Ireland. And uh, up until now, my go-to pair of running shoes has either been Salomon uh, Speedcross that I ran in for a, a long time, but I find they were a bit pinchy on the toes. And then more recently, I switched to Salomon Wildcross, and they've been great. They've been perfect for the type of terrain that's nearest to me which is Antrim Hills, which tends to be very boggy, wet and soft underfoot. But what I find when I got to the Morns is running these dry trails, that once I got to about seven miles plus, even be less than that sometimes, my feet would really start to hurt underneath because they just don't have that much cushioning. Uh, I'd always wondered about trying a pair of the Hoka Speed Goat shoes, but I'd never gotten around to it. They're quite expensive. It's like 120, 20 quid. But I'd previously run marathons in their shoes and had pretty good results. So I finally, this year, decided, right, I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna buy them. And I bought myself a pair of the Speed Goat 4s and I absolutely love them. Whoa! <laughs> They're great as long as you watch where you're going and just trip there. So, you know what, let's just start with the results. Okay, so I have run up to continuous 14 miles in the mountains and that's 14 miles while I was carrying a nine kilo backpack. If I had done that with my wild salmon, wild cross shoes, which I love, I do love from boggy terrain, my feet would have been in agony. I would have had really painful soles and um, my toes would have been constantly sort of feeling a bit crushed. Um, but with the speed goats, I did those 14 miles without weight on my back, zero pain on the soles of my feet. It's like running on marshmallows stuck on the bottom of your feet. They've got these really thick cushioned soles that just absorb like those little small rocks that would normally come up and doof, 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 bash the bottom of your feet. So, so comfortable to run in. But just one thing to be aware is they come in two different versions. They come in a normal version and a wide version. I have bought the wide version because I find that a lot of standard shoes they give me blisters on like the front front sides of my feet. I bought both sides of these, I bought the regular, I bought the wides, tried them, and I just like having a lot more room in that toe box. I find for long distance, it gives your feet room to swell, and oh, it's just a lot more comfortable and free. Grip-wise, I find them pretty good. Um, I think they're just every bit as grippy as my Salomon shoes. I've run with them all over wet rocks, on grass, on mud, and, so far, as far as I can tell, they're just as grippy as the Salomons. There's not too much else to say about these shoes. Uh, one thing I don't like, these ones aren't waterproof. I don't know if they actually do a waterproof version, but um, in the winter, I would consider buying a waterproof pair. I tend to run with waterproof shoes in the winter because it doesn't stop water getting in. Once it gets in, it stays in, it stays warm. A bit like a wetsuit, I find in winter, if I run in non-waterproof shoes, my feet get very cold, so these wouldn't be ideal for me in the winter. But design-wise, they've got a few really, really nice colorways. I like these kind of orangey blue, blue ones. You see in the bottom, they've got a good aggressive, aggressive tread. Overall, it's a fairly standard shape, style of shoe. They don't have that like fancy lacing system that Salomon's have, which to be honest, that's the one downside with them. I would really have liked um, a quick lace system. Although that said, I could swap out the laces on these with some elastic lock laces, which I have done on other shoes. So I might do that at some point. But that said, the laces on these are these nice wide flat laces. But I find when you tie them, 
double tie them they don't they don't budge and because they're nice and chunky laces they're easy to take out and retie again i've got 50 miles on them so far and i think my feet have sort of settled into them i just feel this feels great absolutely great and uh, my only concern might be the longevity of them because i have found the past hoggers because they have that extreme cushioning they, uh, that, it tends to get compressed and they seem to wear out faster than uh, other shoes but we'll see what happens with these so yeah what am i going to use these for where well specifically i'm going to use them for long trail runs and mountain runs anything over about five miles i've got a few trail half marathons coming up perfect for that um and as well as i've got the the more skyline race which is 35k and i'm really confident they'll be a lot better than running in my my older shoes so yeah that's what i'm going to use them for really quick review as i said 50 miles on them they're amazing they're the most comfortable shoe for long distance on mountains that i've used to date and uh yeah i love them not in a romantic way because that'd be weird but yeah great shoes yeah.